The F-15, better known as the Eagle. It is an air superiority fighter of the United States Air Force, but other nations like Japan, Saudi Arabia, South Korea, and Israel use them as well. The United States has two variants in service, however, the F-15C and F-15E, known as the Eagle and Strike Eagle, respectively. Some people don't know the difference between the two, so today I'm going to clear up some confusion. Welcome to Scenario Fulfillment, I am Dasher, and today we will be talking about the differences of the F-15 Eagle and Strike Eagle. So, here they are side by side. First and foremost, you can see how different they're painted. And the F-15E looks more bulky compared to the Charlie. The F-15 Charlie, or C, was designed in mind to be primarily an air superiority fighter meaning that it would sling air-to-air -air missiles at Sukhoi and MiG fighters, and it would get to do that in the Gulf War. Its armament consists of the AIM-9 Sidewinder Heat Seeker, the AIM-7 Sparrow Semi-Active Radar Missile, and was upgraded to carry the AIM-120 AMRAAM. The United States Air Force has phased out the AIM-7 Sparrow, as they should. In order to guide the radar-guided missiles, it is equipped with an upgraded APG-70 radar, but some airframes may still have the upgraded APG-63. The F-15C was recently given the Legion pod, which is an infrared search and track or IRST pod. In an environment where the pilot can't use their radar, this pod looks for targets emitting infrared signatures, and the AIM-120 AMRAAM can be queued to this system. The paint job on the Charlie is used to make it harder to see in its high environment. It also carries the M61 20mm cannon. This cannon gives the aircraft some air-to-ground capability, but it wasn't built with that in mind. What was, however, is the F-15E Strike Eagle. The F-15E, or Echo, was designed to replace the aging F-4 Phantom Fleet, and is packing a lot more sophisticated hardware than its older brother. The Strike Eagle can carry the same air-to-air -air armament as the F-15C, but for air to ground, it's much more than that. From bunker buster GPS guided munitions like the GBU 32V3 to cruise missiles like the AGM 84 Slammer, it was designed as a dual role fighter, meaning if it needed to shoot down a plane in front of it while loaded with bombs, it can, and then continue on with its original mission. It also has night strike capability, even at low altitudes. In order for that to happen, it carries the Lantern Flare Navigation Pod. This displays radar returns from the ground and has a FLIR camera that can be displayed to the pilot's HUD or the guy or gal on the back. Oh yeah, and it has another seat for a person known as the Weapon System Officer, or WIZO. To guide some of those weapons on target, it carries the Sniper Advanced Targeting Pod that is infrared capable. The paint job was made in mind for night attacks at low altitude, making it harder to detect. As for the bulky look compared to the Charlie, it has two extra fuel tanks called conformal fuel tanks, and on the exterior of them are extra hard points for air to ground munitions. They also add a little more weight than normal, but that doesn't seem to impair the performance of the aircraft from what I've seen. The F-15C can carry conformal fuel tanks as well, but not often. It's clear that the F-15C and F-15E serve distinct roles, whether securing air superiority or executing precision strikes on ground targets, the F-15 Eagle family continues to be a symbol of air dominance and technological excellence in the global aerospace arena. But now, the game has changed, requiring more firepower, and that is what the F-15 EX will bring to the table. Thank you for watching. Help the channel grow by liking, sharing, subscribing, and commenting on what you think about the F-15 Strike Eagle and Eagle. I like the Strike Eagle. I will see you in the next one. Stay safe.